Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Tech Beans and this is a speed test comparison between Xiaomi's latest flagship offering, the Mi Mix 3, and the master of speed, the Pocophone F1. I pitted these two beasts against each other because they are the best of what Xiaomi is offering right now. Both are equipped with a Snapdragon 845 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, and MIUI 10. The only difference is that this is still running on Android 8.1 Oreo, and the Mi Mix 3 is already running Android 9 Pie. Let's see if Android 9 is a game changer in speed. And right here, we're gonna find out which of these two beasts is gonna launch these apps the fastest, which one has a better N2 to score, and which one is gonna play PUBG the best. But before we start, guys, please join the Pokemon f1 giveaway and all you need to do to join is subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content and without further ado let the battle begin no. okay here we go before we start let us first check if there are apps running in the background let us cross all that out check again nothing also check if it's running on Wi-Fi. It is. So yes, we are ready. It's time to start. First up is the Google Play Store. I think they opened up at the same time. Bummer. Now for YouTube. This is first, followed by the Pokemon F1. Cool. Let us move on to Google Chrome. This is first. It is. It loaded the ads first. Mimix 3 is winning. And the Lazada. This is first. And yes, it was a little bit quicker this time around. And now for Google Maps. And it looks like they open up the same time. Nope, the cursor was the last to load here. And that is the last for the regular apps. And now for the games, Subway Surfer. Here we go, boosted. And it looks like, yes, the Mimi 3 is the first to load Subway Surfer followed by the Pokemon F1. Let us move on to the next game. Next up is Asphalt 8. This game is a lot more heavier. Let us see which phones will load this game much faster. Also game boosted as well. And it looks like they're neck to neck. No, the Pokemon F1 just loaded it much faster. So far it's pretty close. Next up we have Hungry Shark. Yes, the Mimix 3 is gonna finish this quickly. And there you go. But still, it's not that far apart. Finally we have Mario Run. And yes, uh, from my initial impressions, looks like both have almost the same speed. And uh, this is gonna finish up. Yes, the Pokemon F1 just finished first, followed by the Mimix 3. So far, I believe both are on equal footing in terms of speed. It just went back and forth. I guess it was just a case of circumstantial luck. But yes, definitely, I believe that this is a draw. And now for the NTU2 benchmark comparison. And let's start. And here we go, guys. It looks like the Mi Mix 3 is ahead here. But yeah, in terms of graphics, uh, I think both of them are equally smooth. And the only difference that I see here, well actually it's a big difference, is the display quality. If only you were sitting here beside me, you will see the big difference. The screen on the Mi Mix 3 is just way brighter and much more vibrant compared to the Pocophone F1. It looks so beautiful. And yes, same rendering speeds. It's not a surprise, they're using the same processor. But I'm not sure why the Mi Mix 3 is just faster in loading stuff. The Pocophone F1 is lagging behind, I'm not sure why. I also want to see how hot these guys are. The Mi Mix 3 is running uh, hot, 40 degrees Celsius, not really that hot. The Pocophone F1 is actually hotter at 42 degrees Celsius. Going back to the Mi Mix 3, and you get a cooler phone. Hmm, that's funny. The Pocophone F1 should be cooler because it has liquid cooling, but it turns out that the Mi Mix 3 is actually much cooler right here, and it doesn't have liquid cooling. And here are the scores. I don't know where the numbers came from, but based on what I saw earlier from the benchmarks, the Mi Mix 3 was way faster, especially in loading. I don't know about you guys, but benchmarks like N22 is like a scam for me. Like some of them are just made up just for marketing purposes. Sometimes people decide because of the numbers. Let Tech Beans help you. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna play PUBG for one hour. And let's see which one of these guys has better power efficiency. HDR graphics, ultra frame rates, realistic, brightness all the way to 150%, and I enabled anti-aliasing. And here we go, guys. Yes, both seem to look very smooth. The graphics is beautiful for both phones. The main difference is that the Mi Mix 3 has a way better screen. It has a 6.39 inch Super AMOLED display. The blacks are just very black. Look at the shadows. The grass is very green. The sky is very blue. Everything about the Mi Mix 3 looks fantastic. 
I'm just going to show you the viewing angles for the Pocophone F1. Tilting to 90 degrees and it's quite dim already. And the color shift is very prominent. Yes. And there you go. That's just an IPS display coming from the Pocophone F1. Viewing angles is not perfect. <clears throat> and here's the Mi Mix 3. Let me just tilt this at the 90 degrees. Still good. Still good. And I'm actually going to go extreme here at 180 degrees. Still very good. Not as dim as what you saw on the Pocophone F1. That is just amazing. Well, that is super AMOLED for you. So there you go guys, for the Mi Mix 3, you get this full screen display experience. Not much bezels going on, almost bezel-less. And the Pocophone F1 right here is just ugly in comparison. Look at this, it has this huge notch, this huge chin. The screen is not as beautiful and as big as the Mi Mix 3. If I was a gamer, I would actually just get the Mi Mix 3 just for the display itself. Okay, it's 30 minutes. Let us check the battery levels on both phones. This is 90% just like on my review. And this is 89%, a 3200 milliampere phone, the Mi Mix 3, just at 90%. The Pocophone already at 89%. The Pocophone F1 has a 4000 milliampere battery, but it seems that it's not as power efficient as the Mi Mix 3. That is unbelievable. So here's my recommendation. If you have the money, just go for the Mi Mix 3. It's way better than I expected, especially for gaming. And also just go get the six gigabytes version. Do not get the eight gigabytes version. It's much more expensive. 5,000 peso difference, it's not worth it. But if you're in a budget, you don't have the money, the Pocophone F1 is all you'll ever need from a gaming phone, period. It's got a headphone jack. It's got expandable storage both of which are non-existent on the Mi Mix 3. So yes, this is essentially all you'll ever need from a gaming phone. But yeah, why sell for less if you can have the best? Christmas is coming and so is the Christmas bonus. If you don't have a job, if you're a kid, if you're still at school, go ask dad. Hey dad, I want the Mi Mix 3. I heard you got your Christmas bonus. Can I have the Mi Mix 3 please? Pretty please dad. Can I have the Mi Mix 3? Just kidding. If you're a dad, this is a terrific gift for your son, for your daughter, or for yourself. Merry Christmas. And no, I'm, I'm not giving this away. The Mi Mix 3 is too expensive to, to be a giveaway. And that's pretty much it guys for the speed test and PUBG test comparison between the Pocophone F1 and the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3. I hope I was a big help to you guys on helping you pick the right phone. Up next, we will be having the OnePlus 6T review and comparison with the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3. That is coming up. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss it. This is Vince Demigra from Tech Beans, and I'll see you on the next video.